Hi guys, in this program I am going to show you how you can accept input that is a string int character and float uh, from the keyboard by the user right uh, in my earlier three videos you saw you can, uh, how you can accept a string int and character however I wanted to make this video uh, to show you in a single program itself right so it will be easy for you guys okay so let's start I already written few things uh, which is uh, which are necessary right a string a I have taken it is a int as b character as c and float as d right and uh, I also type that uh, system dot out dot print line should be enter your sentence right so up to this you know all these these things are really basic okay now how are you going to accept uh, the means by the user right the input from by the user so for that we have to import first of all we have to import the scanner class java dot util dot scanner right so scanner helps us using a scanner we will be able to uh, take input from the user now you have to use this scanner type in as a scanner as new scanner system dot in ok we have to type over this line now let me tell you what the mean, meaning of this line ok scan is the class right here the scanner you see is the class s is the object instead of s you can write anything instead of s you can write your name too ok that's going to work right ok new is a keyword which is used to allocate the memory and system dot in is the input stream right you have to remember you need to remember all these things ok so let's go to the first one let's learn as how you can accept the input ok little bit rearranging ok first one is the enter your sentence that is the string type a equal to object dot that is in my program object name is s ok so uh, I'm going to type s dot then we have to use the methods of the scanner that is for taking the input uh, as a string we should type next line okay this is the method of the scanner that we are going to that we are using to take the input okay for uh, taking integer values type b not b actually whatever you have taken in your program right object name s next int ok so next int is used uh, for taking the input for taking the integer as an input right next one is the enter your character that is c object dot next ok this this one is little bit different you don't have to type next char right just like you type next int ok this is this is a bit different and you need to remember it dot char hat zero ok this became chat care it should be care right so s dot next dot caret and zero in the basis so this is how you're going to accept the characters single characters right for sentences you need to use a string ok float d s dot next float ok in eclipse it already shows everything but in while you are typing in notepad or any other text editor it may not show you so many options already present right so this is how you are going to accept the input now you can run the program it is very easy to run the program in eclipse simply you have to click run we don't need to type any commands ok now you can see right here enter your sentence type subscribe to channel right enter number type over 4 enter your character type over a enter your number type 54.5 the last one is the float ok so the program is over now you can type certain other statements after this line as uh, system dot out dot print line your lucky number is plus uh, b right so you can do that also suppose you type instead of float you type uh, 
enter your number you should, uh, okay let's take the example of the integer In, instead of 4 you type 4.5 so it's going to give an error okay let's check that out Let's say, hey, how are you? Okay, now enter your number. We have to type in an integer number, but we are going to type in as a float number, right? See, it's going, it's giving a lot of red screens, right? So, okay, so you learned you should not type in a uh, wrong thing, uh, wrong numbers. If it is integer, you should type integer. If it is float, you should type float, okay? So if you like the video, okay, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't seen my videos, uh, previous videos, which shows, uh, means uh, that every program shows how to accept a string, character and integer separately, then you can uh, watch uh, that also. And thank you for watching.